a step-by-step -step guide of CHI's fetal monitoring system, CTG. Wear loose, comfortable clothing. Take the CTG unit out of its case along with its power cord and straps. Plug the unit into the electrical wall socket. Make sure you are signed into your app on your phone. Then turn on via the power button on the unit. Place both the straps down flat on a bed or bench. Lie down flat on top of straps. Optionally, you can use surgical tape to attach the sensors. The side of your abdomen where you are feeling the baby kicking is likely where the feet are. Using both hands, place one hand on either side of your abdomen and feel for the baby's lying position. The side which feels smooth is the baby's back, and the side which is bumpy is the front with the arms and legs. This should be the same side where you feel the baby kicking. Take both the TOCO sensor and the FHR sensor out from their docks. Shift to lie down on your left side, especially in the third trimester. Place the TOCO sensor 10 cm above your navel and fix it with the straps or surgical tape securely. Place a dollop of conducting gel onto the FHR sensor bottom pad. Place the FHR sensor on the back side of your baby aiming at the shoulder area. If the baby's back is facing to your right, place the FHR sensor on the right side of your abdomen more towards the head. If your baby's back is facing to the left, place the FHR sensor on the left side of your abdomen more towards the head. You can take guidance from your OBGYN regarding to how your baby is lying. Or you can use a fetoscope or stethoscope to pinpoint the location of the heartbeat audibly and place the FHR sensor there. Take the FHR sensor and very slowly move it around until you can hear the heartbeat. The earlier it is in your pregnancy, the lower you'll likely have to go so try going below your belly button. Be aware that you'll also hear your own heartbeat and the pulse of an artery. Baby's heartbeat is much faster than either of these. The earlier it is in the pregnancy and depending on the position of the baby and the placenta it may be harder to hear the baby's heartbeat. Move the FHR sensor left right up and down slightly until you hear sustained heartbeat and fix it with the straps or surgical tape securely. Press the zero button on the receiver to calibrate the device. Check your phone to see that it is receiving data. Wait for 15-35 minutes for the session to complete. Remove both the sensors, wipe the conducting gel off the FHR probe and replace them into their charging dock. Then turn off the unit via the power button. Remove the plug from the electrical wall socket. Replace the device into its case along with power cord and straps. 